It's time now for our Sunday specials. Are you aware that a primary school teacher in Nigeria is redefining the methods of instilling morals and values in pupils? Well, the teacher is in Niger State, and now he is using a board game he designed to achieve his aim. School proprietors say the game also helps the mathematical and the cognitive, cognitive development of the children. Chenami Bamiyi reports. Nigerians have always devised a way of relaxing through board games even before the advent of modern video games and technology. A good example is the strategy board game known as Ayo that has 12 holes and 48 seats played by two players. These board games have stood the test of time, yet they remain competitive and a means of relaxation for participants. While video games are popular among the younger generation, there is also a rising interest in board games too coming out in great styles, from treasured classics like chess and Monopoly to new favorites like Scrabble. The purpose of board games is continually evolving to include teaching morals and values. Getting kids to put away their electronic games and study sometimes has been a difficult task for parents. Here is a primary school teacher that is both trying to change the narrative and helping to build society. Meet Aaron Sado, a primary school teacher from Niger State and also a board game designer. He has six board games under his belt, like School Boss, 90 Minutes, and the latest being the Kingdom Mindset board game, a game he designed to build morals and values in children. Playing board games are entertaining, but that is only one benefit of board game playing. I like the game and it's really nice. I believe that um, to create a mindset to change a society, you need to start from children. Um, if you see any person who is great, check it. It started from small. And then they grow up with that mindset to affect their community. So for me gathering children is to create a certain mindset to build in them that the society can be better through them. The game is played by two to four players with sets of scene and love cards. Each player gets an icon that represents them on the board by rolling a dice. The icon advances in the game by the number the player gets after each roll. There are love and sin boxes along the way. If the icon moves to any of these boxes, a player picks a card and reads a Bible text on it and follows the instruction thereafter. This is to imbibe moral values in the players. For example, if the player with a pastor icon falls on the adultery or murder box, the icon must begin the game all over at the point called rededication. So also when a player with the deacon icon falls on the box of covetousness and jealousy, the icon must lose three tons. In addition to teaching children morals and values, the game strengthens relationships because the game does not have a loser. A school proprietor, Caroline Ogunleye, alludes that the board game actually benefits the cognitive growth of the child and mathematical development. It's part of the uh, educational process. As you can see, they have a number, they have a words in those uh, uh, cards that they are using. Even from that, some of them will be able to at least learn something from those cards. Even from the, 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 the other child that they are using, they have uh, a place where there is number and there is some words they have to follow. So as they are even playing the game, they are also reading, so they are learning. I feel great. The game is great and it is good for children. The game is about sin card and love cards. That if you get to a love box, you pick a love card and anything, and the love tells you to move forward. The wise sin takes you backward. So what did you learn from the game? I learned that I should not sin. Now my aspiration is to see that Nigeria becomes the place for gaming. The games are a tool for education. It's not just for fun. Many people think it's for fun. No. Games are to enlighten us. For example, if you want to be a vibrant business person, you must play Monopoly. It teaches you business. It teaches you how to harness opportunity. Just like every other startups, partnerships and funding is required to produce these games and make them available to more pupils. In today's society where children have access to uncensored content on the internet, games like this do not only help to build their cognitive abilities, 
but also help them to build morals and values. Every saint society is built on values. For example, one of these love cards says, for God so loved the world. This basically teaches the children how to love more. In the game, if you pick a love card, you move forward. But if you pick a sin card, which has to do with, with, with immoral things in the society, you move backward. By these simple actions, the children get to know the things that they ought to value and the things they ought to repel. Chenemi Bami, TVC News, Mina.